apostolic in nature that's more uh, that's more focused on extending the kingdom of God and advancing the purposes of God on this earth. Amen. So as the church is changing from level to level, the function of the senior pastor, the function of the uh, the pastoral team will also keep changing and the mindset and the behavior and the lifestyle of the people of God will also change. Amen. In an apostolic church, if the Holy Spirit says, you know, I'm just using you as an example, Anup, you're sitting in front. You know, hopefully Anup is getting married next year. I won't mention his fiance's name, but some of the Holy Spirit says, Anup and wife. <laughs> Arise and, and go to so and so place. No. And Anup has an apostolic mindset, and his wife has a say, God, Holy Spirit, you're speaking, you're saying go. They come and tell us, I say, okay, we bless you, send you out. They go on their first missionary journey. They're off. Amen? Amen. So, but how can that happen? Well, it happened in the Antioch church. The Holy Spirit said, separate me, Barnabas and Saul, for the work that I've called them to. And they'll pray and send out. Go. Another couple who comes along, we feel, uh, we, the Holy Spirit spoke to us. He said, go to so-and-so place and raise up a church. Okay. Let's send them. A church with an apostle. They said, but what about land? What about house? What about car? You know, in an apostolic church, those things don't matter too much. Amen. They don't matter that much. Get ready. Our mindset is different. Our lifestyle is different. Our value systems are different. Because we are moving on to higher realms in God. Amen. So are you ready? To move on to higher realms in God. Yes? No? Need to think about it? <laughs> Let me hear you. Are you ready to move on to higher realms in yep. God? Yes. We need to move on. Amen. Yes. Let's take a few moments of prayer. You may, be, you may remain seated. I just call the worship team up. I know it's a little past our normal time. <laughs>